Okay, so hey, welcome to the shop. Uh, it's working on our boat. Hey, uh, it's been a while since we got a video out. Um, it's been kind of busy around here recently. And uh, anyway, last week, um, we thought we were gonna get a video out. We had uh, a topic, we had it scripted, or me and the team are ready to go to production and get that video out. And uh, something very um, unexpected and exciting happened and caused us to shift our focus and and uh, take a different path, make a new video. Anyway, uh, that thing uh, that got me so excited, uh, let me explain a bit. Uh, late last year, I was asked a question by one of our boat owners, and I did not have a ready answer at the time. So I pondered the question, and I thought I had came up with a, uh, a, a good answer for it. And I put that answer uh, in a video and sent it out there, and uh, something really cool happened. Um, one of the superstars in our industry um, saw the video and got a message back to me and said, um, no, that's not it, that's wrong. And went to explain what was really going on. And uh, I was really, really thrilled uh, to get that uh, feedback. Now, uh, you're, you're probably asking yourself, uh, you know, uh, you, you were wrong. You know, why, why are you so thrilled about that? Why are you so happy, you prop nut? Um, well, two things really got me pretty happy about it. Uh, first one is there's not many people are really watching this, so it's cool. <laughs> I can only embarrass myself so far. The other thing about it is I was wrong, and um, past tense, I was wrong. Uh, I'm not wrong about it anymore. Uh, the answer to this question that's been puzzling me and driving me crackers for so long has been explained and uh, I'm thrilled to death that uh, I finally have an answer to that question and uh, I can get that answer and I, I can share it here with you. So uh, what I want to do is just revisit that topic and uh, lay it out the way, lay out that answer the way it was laid out to me and explain it. Um, it's, it's pretty cool. So stick around. All right, so first let's talk about the question that got this whole thing started. Um, it has to do with one of these devices. Uh, if you don't recognize this, this is, uh, I think they call it a smart Y or an intelligent Y. And what it allows you to do is to plug your 240 volt, 50 amp short cord into two 120 volt, 30 amp receptacles and power your boat safely. Uh, this device will not allow power to flow unless the power is safe. Anyway, uh, our owner said, I can plug my boat into a ground fault protected breaker on the pedestal with my normal 50 amp short cord, 240 volt 50 amp short cord, and we don't trip any breakers, we're fine. Everything's good there. But we encountered a marina that did not have a single 50 amp pedestal for us, so we had to go to two 30 amp uh, receptacles. And you know, ordinarily not a problem, I have an adapter. I can plug in my 50 amp, 240 volt short cord into our two 30 amp, 120 volt receptacles and we have power on our boat. Well, uh, we plug in with our 50 amp cord, we don't trip ground fault breakers. We use this device, we trip the ground fault breakers. And the question was, why? So um, to answer that, uh, first we'll talk a bit about how these ground fault breakers sense a fault and react to it. And uh, then I'll explain why uh, why the why caused that ground fault breaker to trip. Okay, so let's talk about the way these uh, ground fault breakers go about sensing that there is a fault on our boat. So um, in this drawing here, what I've got is just our very basic uh, shore power cord, let's call this our 30 amp 120 volt shore power cord. And inside of our cord we have three wires. We have two current carrying conductors and we have our AC safety ground. Now <clears throat> when our shore power cord passes through one of these ground fault breakers it's going through a device called a sensing coil which is nothing more than uh, a coil that goes around the current carrying conductors like so and it is sensing for an imbalance in the current carrying conductors. Because when we have AC current, there's always a push and a pull between them. So everything that's coming in on the line to power our boat and our appliances here is returning to source on the neutral. That direction will change again. And the same amount that's traveling this way into our boat is leaving our boat 
going back this way. So, say for example, if everything is working well and we do not have a fault on our boat, we could have five amps of current on the line going in to power our appliances. We will have five amps of current going back the other way. So, always a push and pull, and it's always the same amount. So our current, uh, our uh, sensing coil here will sense that five amps is coming in, five amps is going back. So the sum between these two is zero. So we can assume that everything coming in is going out by means of the short cord. The current is traveling the path that we want it to. Uh, it's not finding another path back to its source. So let's say, for instance, we do have a little fault on our boat up here. And let's say we have a one amp fault finding a path back to its source by a means other than our short cord. Well, if we have five amps going in to our boat, we have one amp finding a, another path, then we'll have four amps returning this way. Our sensing coil will pick up that imbalance and if this value exceeds the trip threshold of that breaker, the breaker will trip, open the circuit, cut power off to our boat. Okay, so this is our 30 amp, 120 volt short cord. Now when we get into the 240 volt, uh, 50 amp short cord, uh, what we have is we just add another line passing through our sensing coil. Line one, neutral, line two. These are our current carrying conductors, and we're just gonna sense those three so that everything that's going into our boat by means of these three current carriers is leaving the boat by means of these three current carrying conductors. Sensing coil will see a sum of zero and assume that there is no fault and we're not tripping a breaker. But uh, as soon as we have an imbalance, we give current another path. Our sensing coil will see that trip the breaker, open the circuit, cut power to our boat. Okay, so that's how these ground fault breakers uh, sense that there's a fault current and, and uh, react and cut power to our boat. Uh, but let's talk about our boat in our example here. Now, like I said, our owner says he plugs in with his standard 50 amp, 240 volt cord. He does not trip a ground fault breaker. He goes to use a reverse Y like this and he trips a ground fault breaker. So why is that? Well, let's explain that. Um, let's look at the board here. Let's first explain uh, what's going on when we're using our standard 50 amp short cord. So here's our 50 amp short cord. We have four wires, line one, neutral, line two, and our AC safety ground. Now, our ground fault breaker has our sensing coil around the three current carriers. Line one, li neutral, and line two. Ground is off to the side. So our sensing coil here is looking for an imbalance. So, in theory, uh, let's, let's say we've plugged in our boat, we started powering up our appliances, and let's, uh, let's do the math on uh, the current on these three. So if we go to line one, and let's say we have line one has 14 amps, on it. Line two is using six. <clears throat> now let's say they're returning back on neutral. Now since line one is going to be pushing in this way, line two will be going this way. They're alternating. So line one is going to have 14 amps coming in, but it's going to have 14 amps going this way on the neutral. Line two is going to be going this way. So that means we're going to have six amps on that neutral going that way. So we're going to cancel out six amps of current on the neutral right here. So that's going to give us a sum of eight. So what we end up with, when we do the math, 14, 6, 8, 14, 14, 14 cancels out. We have a sum of zero. So on our 50 amp shore cord, assuming everything is, is working properly on the boat, and there's no fault on that boat, we have 
14, 8 plus 6, 14. We have a sum of zero. That ground fault breaker will not trip. Now, uh, give me a minute. I'm going to clean this off, and we're going to uh, draw in our, our uh, reverse Y. And you'll see uh, how that's not going to add up equally. Okay, so here's where it gets really interesting. Once we start adding a Y into our short cord, a reverse Y into our short cord, that is our 50 amp short cord on our boat splitting off and going to 230 amp 120 volt receptacles. So let's use the same numbers that we did in our first example. And over here on line one, let's see, we're using 14 amps. 14 amps coming in on this line. On this line two, we're taking in six amps. So, because the neutrals are being conducted opposite of one another, 14, we cancel six out of the equation, we're left with a sum of eight, eight amps on our neutral. Since we split them off, we're paralleling our neutrals, what's gonna happen is this side will carry four amps of that neutral current, this side also is going to carry four amps of that neutral current. Now, our sensing coils on our ground fault breakers here are looking for an imbalance. And that's how they sense it, that a fault is present. So, when we look at the numbers on our current carrying conductors going into our 30 amp, 120 volt receptacles here through our reverse Y, we see that we will have 14 amps of current on our line, but the neutral that this um, sensing coil is looking at will see four amps on the neutral. An imbalance. Line two will have six coming in, but we only, again, we have four on our neutral, and again, an imbalance. So these two ground fault breakers will trip, uh, even though our boat has no fault current on it. We're just creating an imbalance with the splitter. Okay, so that's our show. Um, that is the answer of uh, why this device uh, will trip a ground fault breaker when your normal shore cord does not. Um, again, uh, thank you uh, to our uh, superstar who uh, sent me that, got me that message. Um, I don't mind being wrong, I just really, uh, I hate staying wrong. <laughs> so I'm thrilled to have your input. Uh, please keep it up, uh, big fan of your work. Anyway, um, so that's, that's our show and hopefully I have ended this subject. <laughs> so um, anyway, uh, keep working on your boat.